The first song we have here is uh, A New Hope for a New Year, which I think is something that everyone, uh, no matter where you are in the world, could, could really hope for as we end these, this very difficult year. So, uh, you know, I was wondering if uh, maybe, you know, Chuck, you want to start by talking a little bit about, you know, which year you were looking at when you first wrote this and um, <laughs> how that song has progressed as uh, we've all be dealt with some difficult things. Um, I probably started writing the song, like, who knows? Like the like some of the riffs probably were are like six years old, and then I actually made a song out of it like four years ago, and uh, put it in GarageBand. I just had some parts, and when we got when we get together um, for writing or recording, we we in uh, the past couple of years we've brought each of us have brought demos, and so um, like for No Guts No Glory there were everybody brought some demos in for that and we worked on that kind of stuff um for for this i it was in between and we were just doing writing so it was probably like 3 or 4 years ago that we that we the band started playing this like that that we started rehearsing it and playing it live and then uh yeah so it's it's been around for a couple of years already but and recorded last October, but so it's probably five or six years old almost already. But uh, we'll keep yeah. playing until we get a new year, a good yeah. one. <laughs> <laughs> we started playing it um, in 2018. Really? Oh, really? I thought yeah. it was. I thought it was earlier than that. Um, when did we start? Was that, that the same seems... time as like Prestige? Prestige was Prestige. earlier, yeah, but. Yeah. yeah, but we, we started working on it much earlier than that. There are two other times that we worked on this song. I One time demo, was... I brought the demo maybe to No Guts and No Glory sessions, maybe. It was before right. that. We, it was before there was that. One, one of the summer camp writing sessions or like rehearsal sessions, we worked on it. Right. And, this, and that's like, you know, five or six years ago. Wow. And then yeah. there was that other time we were in Lafayette um at at the lafayette theater rehearsing and right. we worked all on of that for... stuff all of that stuff was post cancer for me so it was yeah. Yeah. when we got that introduced i had it in 2017 and we did our first rehearsal sessions i guess yeah. it was the very end of 2017 in december and then we did it um we worked on it at summer camp and lafayette after that yeah, we didn't. Maybe we didn't work on it for a while, but I showed it to the band bef before. I that, think for sure. I think that it used to be something different too. Like it didn't come together as what it is now until you brought. That's us what that, I'm talking about. That uh, uh, the demos because the drum the drums that you had on it were completely changed from what we were working on before. Right, and that's what I'm maybe. talking about. There were these yeah. two other times where we worked on what is the not the intro to the song, but that 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 riff in the middle of the song yeah. uh that that section of it there's that part and in one of is there's these two parts that were we had looped back and forth and we would go right. back and forth between these two things and it sort, it sort of sat there like that just to sort of ruminate on uh right. we had gone through that a couple of times before it became the full-fledged <laughs> song as we know it today yeah right right and I'll so, talk a little bit about, you know, Chuck, you mentioned some of the, the song has found itself in different forms and, and different other songs. Talk a little bit about some of its uh, mutations in that sense. For this song? <laughs> yeah. Well, there, there's like the, the there's the, the intro part of the song is probably the oldest part. And then the, the verses are the newer addition to it. And so the, the, the verses were the, the very first thing that, I showed to the band and I had this other part that I thought would be a separate song, but then I realized that the two of them could just right. work together, you know, like they could, they could be arranged yeah. together somehow. And, uh, yeah, so that it, so I guess, I guess the, that, that intro kind of feel and, and like the middle section where, where this, that the solo goes over and the part where Jim is playing the, the, the marimba, like all of that stuff was, kind of part of the original thing and then the the verse like the actual sung part of the song is came in later and it was just kind of figuring out how to 
how to make it all work. Awesome.